start with verse 5. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. The word of God, it reads, Who shall give account to him that is ready to judge the quick and the dead? For for this cause was the gospel preached also to them that are dead, that they might be judged according to the men in the flesh, but live according to God in the spirit. But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Use Amen. hospitality one to another without grudging. Right. As every man has received the gift, even so minister the same one to another as good steward of the manifold grace of God. Right. Yes. These are the words in which I speak to you today. Amen. Amen. And I just want to encourage you to use what God has given. Amen. 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 You may be seated. Giving honor to God, Smith and Reese, we thank God for all of our deacons that are here to the body of Christ. We thank God for you, for these ushers that are serving on their post. We thank God for you. Use what you have. He said, above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover a multitude of sins. Yes, sir. Amen. When I was growing up, they said love mm. will cover a multitude of sins. Charity, giving of yourselves one to another. And that verse 10 is where I stand today with what God has given to you. With the gift that you have received, even so minister, minister the same one to another as good stewards of the manifold of grace of God. Yes, Brothers and sisters, today we are, are challenged in many areas, but love is not one of them. Right, right. Love is free. Yes, Last Sunday we asked the question, what is love? Okay. Well, I want to encourage you today, <laughs> I back row back there, family now. <laughs> Amen. They want a heat back there. They got it. Amen. <laughs> we talked about what is love. And I want you to, to think about uh, love and, and not intimacy. Love and not intimacy. There's some of us who can't associate loving someone without being intimate. Yeah. Right. Giving of yourself. Opening up yourself. God's love does not fall in that category where we are fleshly connected. Many of us today were challenged in loving. The reason why we're challenged is because we don't want to give nothing. We don't want to give of ourselves. We Charity is not in our heart. We take. We receive. We don't give. Because we don't give, we don't know how to use the love uh, effectively. Many of us, our charity is weak because in our mind we think if we give it, we won't have it. Yeah. But God knows. God knows you. He knows your position. Yes, if God gave it to you, he can give you more. Yeah. 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 He said blessed is a cheerful giver. Yeah. God wants us to know that, that what he's given to you is for ministry. It's for you to share with someone else. A lot of times we're so closed in our mind, we only think about material things. Amen. But your time is just as precious as your money. Yes. Amen? Yes. Being able to listen, sit, and be uh, abiding with one another, that's, uh, that's expensive. Amen? And, and our challenge today in, in giving is because our heart <coughs> are not fixed on the things of God. I'm going to go up a couple more scriptures. Uh, Starting with verse two, uh, verse one, he says, "For as much then as Christ has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind, for he that suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin." Yes, when you give more of yourself, you think less of yourself. Yes, right. yes, what I mean by that? Well, 
Some of us are holding on because all we think about is us. When you open your heart and you start giving to others, then your mind focuses off of you and it's on other people, making sure that they are all right. God has not blessed us for us to be selfish. God has not blessed us for us to be be uh, closed in and, and boxed in. A lot of us are suffering because we got too much of us. Yeah. Can I get witness? Yeah. Our mind is always on me. Yeah. Amen? And the sad thing is, you don't like yourself. <laughs> Amen? Well, the problem with not liking yourself, you can't get away from you. <laughs> you can get away from other people, but you can't get away from you. <laughs> Uh, even if you were to go on vacation, you would be there. Amen? <laughs> so self-centered folk have a hard time giving because they're always thinking about themselves. What about me? You know, if you bake the cake, amen, are you willing to give it away or do you have to have half? Amen? Many of us, we think closed-minded. Well, I did it for you, but I kept half of it for me. Well, no, you didn't do it for me. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't. Th thank you for the blessing, but that's half a blessing, amen? <laughs> when did God stop giving half blessings, amen? He said, I open up the windows of heaven to pour you out a blessing that you have not room to receive. Right, right. Meaning God's going to give you more than what you can handle. And when right. we think about our love for one another, we ought to be able to pour it on right. so they can't handle right. it. Yeah. Right. Not being selfish in our mind, because when we're selfish in our mind, that we do not fulfill the will that God has set for us. What if Jesus only died for half of us? Yeah. Then half of us wouldn't make it. Yeah. Because without him, we are not able to be where we are today. Amen. So when he says, for in as much Christ has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourself likewise with the same mind, meaning that we have to be willing to put 100% in so that somebody else will be blessed. Yes. Yes. That he should no longer live the rest of his life time in the flesh to the lust of men but to the will of God. For the time uh, past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles when we walked in lasciviousness, lust, excess, wine, uh, revelings, banqueting, uh, abominable uh, uh, idolatries, wherein I think it's strange that you run not with them to the same excess riot, speaking evil of you. Who shall give an account to him? which is ready to judge the quick and the dead. This is saying that we that are self-consumed, there's a lot of trouble out there. There's a lot of things that we are in, that we are part of, that is actually taken away from us. And we are willing to hold on to those things more than we are to give of ourselves. Yeah. I caution you with that because when we give of ourselves, we, 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 we actually fulfill our in the same mind as Christ, who is willing to give up all of his life yeah. so that we can have life. Yeah. Willing to sacrifice his body, his time, sacrifice the ministry that he's had carried so that we can have ministry, so that we can have life. Yeah. So that we can have something that wasn't promised to us in the flesh. Why do I speak these things to us today? Because some of our challenges today would be loving someone else. Mm -hmm. When we love someone then we are able to, 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 to open ourselves to giving to them, loving them, standing by them, supporting them. It doesn't matter if I'm not glorified as long as God is glorified. Amen. Amen. A lot of times our challenges overwhelm us because we're not willing to give of ourselves. Amen. I know your time is valuable. My time is valuable. But every time we do anything to honor God, it blesses yeah, all of us. Yeah. I know your money means something to you. My money means something to me. But every time we give unto the Lord, he blesses Amen. us. Yeah. Many of us today, we're, we're, we're trying to learn how to love better. Mm -hmm. Well, you love better by giving of yourself. Yeah. Stop thinking about you and start thinking about others. All right. Stop giving of yourself, your time, your energy. So that God can work fully through you. The same mind that was in Christ Jesus, let it be in you. 